Raider Nation, what's going on? You're watching the Raiders board. Got some news here from Raiders head coach Josh McDaniels because today he spoke at the NFL Scouting Combine. He talked about the Raiders' plans of what they could potentially do at the quarterback position. And if you want the Raiders to take a QB in the draft, then you're really going to want to see what he has to say. Talked about potentially franchising Josh Jacobs. Discussed the future of Darren Waller. He talked about the offensive line. We're going to go through everything, my top 10 takeaways here and then at the end get into some of the big NFL news that happened this morning now early this morning McDaniel says that the Raiders they're going to be looking for a quarterback that can be in Las Vegas for a long time obviously we have talked about Aaron Rodgers on this show at great lengths but this matches up with what Dave Ziegler had to say about a week ago. It also matches up with all the latest reports that the Raiders are probably not going to get Aaron Rodgers as their quarterback, and they're going to look for the future. McDaniels talks about how teams in their division, successful teams, have taken a quarterback, groomed them in their system, and have had a lot of success. You look at the Chiefs with Patrick Mahomes. You look at the Chargers with Justin Herbert. Yeah, they haven't won nearly as much, really anything, but Justin Herbert is a top five quarterback in the NFL, and they're trending in the right direction. Now you got the Broncos with Sean Payton. A lot of competition. Even the AFC in general, Joe Burrow, another guy to keep in mind. So with, with McDaniels coming out and saying this, it really should make you think of what this team is going to do at the quarterback position. So here's my question, and we're going to make this the pinned comment on today's show. You're going to get hit with the YouTube ad break. Are the Raiders going to draft a quarterback? Give me a yes, give me a no, and after the break, I'm going to give you a scouting report and my top five QBs that I want the silver and black to draft. I do think that the closer and closer and the more reports that come out, I think that it's going to happen. The question is, when exactly are the Raiders going to take a QB? Could they take one at number seven? Could they trade up to get one of their guys? Do they just say, you know what? Nobody's there at the spot we're at seven. We're not going to trade up because we need all of our picks. And potentially they take somebody a little bit later in the second, even the third round. If you want more free Raiders videos, hit that subscribe button. Also, Jeremy Chuggs and I, we're going to be live later today, 6 p.m. Eastern time, unless... More breaking news happens. So, I don't know if you have noticed, two videos every single day, multiple live shows every single week. If you're a diehard Raider fan, hit that subscribe button. Let's get in now to some of these scouting reports out there. And McDaniels did talk about quarterbacks, did talk about quarterback plan, but the only QB he mentioned by name, Bryce Young. And one of the biggest takeaways that I got from what he said about Young was that there's going to be people out there that criticize his height. He's not going to be six foot. He's going to be like 180 pounds. McDaniels flat out said in their quarterback evaluation process, height isn't something that they're going to knock him for. At the end of the day, they want somebody who can run their system and run it effectively. If you were to ask me which quarterback do I think could run the McDaniels system the best in year one, the answer is Bryce Young. Great leader, super high football IQ, Heisman Trophy winner in the 2021 season. Yeah, he's undersized, and the arm strength isn't, isn't elite like some of these other prospects. But if you want somebody that can start right away on day one, his name is Bryce Young. Another guy here, if the Raiders wanted to look at options, C.J. Stroud, regarded as one of the top QB prospects in this year's class. He's got the arm strength, the size. He's got everything you look for in a pocket passer. I know for a fact Dave Ziegler, big fan of this young man, looked great against the Georgia Bulldogs. However, his pocket awareness sometimes scares me. When plays break down and things aren't perfect, that's where you see the bad version of C.J. Stroud come out. And let's face it, you're not going to have the pockets and you're not going to have the amount of talent differential like he did at Ohio State compared to the NFL. Before I get into more scouting reports and the latest from Josh McDaniels, today's show is presented by Cultivate. And if you haven't already, go to wecultivate.us slash chat sports. Who out there uses Amazon? Then you definitely need to get started. The Raiders Report, sponsored by Cultivate, the free browser extension that brings transparency to your Amazon shopping experience. Cultivate shows you the brand, seller, or product, product origin and identifies local alternatives that support local community efforts while saving you money. With over 50% of Amazon U.S. sellers based in China, Cultivate offers a way to avoid trickery from these sellers and keep money in the U.S. economy. Cultivate offers alternatives that are on average 30% less expensive than Amazon without any additional costs such as Amazon. 
Amazon Prime. It can even identify local alternatives that you can pick up the same day. Cultivate users earn free donations as rewards for using the extension, and the more you use it, the more you earn in donations by increasing your level. In fact, Cultivate donates 51% of the revenue they make on your purchase. So, what the heck are you waiting for? Go to wecultivate.us slash chat sports and download Cultivate for free. Let Cultivate bring transparency, savings, and community support to your Amazon shopping journey. Support the Raider support and download with our link. It's down in the comments and in the description of today's video. Let's go to the next player here that I want to talk about. If you're talking about draft plan, it's Will Levis. He has the strongest arm in the draft. Quick release, which you like to see, especially with that big type of arm. Acura on intermediate throws, on long passes. Definitely struggles with sometimes the easy one. His mechanics, no doubt, they need work. He's going to get comps to Josh Allen because of the size. I will say, though, if you're talking about pure upside, Will Levis at age 24, his upside is here. Then I think C.J. Stroud is here. I think Bryce Young is probably somewhere in this area, but much lower floor. The guy with the highest upside is 21 years old, and his name is Anthony Richardson. He is an athletic freak. When he runs with the football, it reminds me of Cam Newton. To me, I actually like his vision. I don't think it's bad. His mechanics, though, that's where he really struggles. And personally, to me, I do think that he needs at least one year to learn behind a vet. If you've watched this show before, you'll know that I'm not the biggest Josh McDaniels fan. But I'll tell you this right now. If the Raiders were to take Anthony Richardson at number seven, I think it's one of, you can't lose situation on my book. Either Richardson is that dude and you got your quarterback for the next 10 to 15 seasons or he's just that bad and McDaniels gets fired. I, I, I'm all in on the risk at this point with this silver and black team. The last option is the only guy that will not go in round one. All those other quarterbacks will go in round one. Hell, I think they might even go in the top ten. Next guy, Hendon Hooker. The jersey, it's going to sell no matter where he plays, but especially in Las Vegas. He's got that blend of the NFL pocket passer size with dual threat athleticism. One of the biggest knocks on him, though, is the ACL. Toward the ACL, I think that his camp's trying to hype him up, saying that he's going to be ready for training camp, and maybe he is. But 25-year-old rookie, older than Lamar Jackson, older than Justin Herbert, you might only get to see him play until he's 26. Good footwork, solid pocket awareness. But to me, Hooker is somebody you're probably going to take end of round two, early round three. Again, y'all, here are my top five quarterbacks in the NFL draft. You could go a lot of different ways with these guys. I do think, like I said, if the Raiders want to get their hands on anyone in the top four, you got to take them at number seven, and you probably even have to trade up if you want some of the names on that list. But if McDaniels is sitting up there saying, we want a quarterback for the long haul, it sounds like that this team might actually draft the QB at number seven. All right, next thing coming up here on the Raiders Report, we're going to talk about the running back. It's Josh Jacobs, and right now there's an NFL franchise tag window. It started February 21st. It ends March 7th. You're going to see teams start tagging players this morning, bright and early. The Washington Commanders, they tag defensive tackle Deron Payne, who was one of my favorite players, and I would have loved for the Silver and Black to get him. Now your concentration, if you're the Raiders, goes to Javon Hargrave, Dalvin Tomlinson. But in terms of Josh Jacobs, McDaniel said that the plan is for Jacobs to be here for a while. I am curious to see what they decide to do. Do they decide to franchise tag him? Do they ex decide to extend? Let him walk? I don't think let walk is the right opportunity. To me, though, if you're a team that's got a one-year win-now type of window, you extend or you place the franchise tag on him. $10.1 million, non-exclusive. If somebody wants them, then you're going to get two first-round picks for them. If you extend them, I think it's going to be somewhere around that three-year type of extension. Probably going to make $12, $13 million a year. However, I could see the Raiders giving him like two or three million in year one and backloading the shit out of it on the back end. More news here around Darren Waller. McDaniels also spoke about the tight end because, let's face it, there's been a lot, and I mean a lot of trade rumors around the tight end. McDaniels acknowledged that Darren Waller's injuries were a factor last year, but pledged, and this is a quote, he'll be a big part of what we do going forward. When you talk about the best McDaniels offenses in years past, it's with two great tight ends. Foss Moreau is a free agent. 
You need somebody else that you can match up next to Darren Waller. He's going to be on this team, and I hope that he's healthy. It's why they extended him after all. Next thing coming up here is more NFL news to hit. The Atlanta Falcons, they moved on from quarterback Marcus Mariota, and I already know the amount of questions that I'm going to get should the Raiders bring in Mariota. Should they do it? Probably not. Are they going to do it? Probably not. If I'm Las Vegas, I bring in a guy like Jarrett Stidham on a cheap contract, probably somewhere just under $3 million per year. You draft a quarterback. You let that quarterback learn with Stidham. Stidham knows that he's not going to be the guy. And if you took a quarterback at seven, it's a good chance he might be playing right away. More NFL news to hit on here. This one rolls in from Rob Domofsky. And he said that general manager of the Green Bay Packers, Brian Gutekunst, I guess that even in itself is a giggity. Believes Jordan Love is absolutely ready to be the starter in the NFL. He also went on to say that they want Aaron Rodgers back. He's a great player, but until we have those conversations, I think all options are on the table. So all options are on the table. I think both for the Packers, for Aaron Rodgers, and for the Las Vegas Raiders. I do think with McDaniel saying this, it does start to indicate to me that the Raiders Potentially, are going to go more the draft route and not so much the Aaron Rodgers route. However, though, you know, deals are, if the, if Rodgers is less than like a second or third round pick, I think you might have to at least look into it. Now, if you haven't already, give me a follow on Twitter, on IG. I put a lot of the stuff out already before making this video. And if you want to interact with me on Locals, where a lot of diehard Raider fans are, hit me up. RaidersReport.Locals.com. Chat Sports will have some members out at the NFL scout, Scouting Combine. So we're going to get a lot of insights. And if anything else happens before our live show, I will do my best to get you a video. If not, I'll see you all 6 p.m. Eastern time. Get ready to party with Jeremy Chugs and I.